Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we are going to look at implementing reduce in Go, which is something you might get asked in a technical interview and might have to implement in your day-to-day -day job. And I think Go is actually really well suited for this. If you don't know what reduce is, essentially you can think about it with some arbitrary array of things. In this example, I have an array of numbers and from left to right, you're calling a function that you pass to reduce on that array. So in this example, I have my function, it's gonna do some kind of work. And from left to right, we're gonna call each of these elements from the array one by one. Typically with reduce, you're returning some kind of aggregate which then gets returned back up from the reduce method. A really good example of this is actually the add function. So add, you could implement with two numbers. So that's kind of our pseudocode function signature. And you could call reduce on a long list of integers with add, aggregating them all together, inevitably returning the total of that list. Again, that's a very broad overview. And this is, again, something I've seen asked in technical interviews. So without further ado, let's jump over to the actual code implementation in Go. Quick reminder, if you wanna support the work I'm doing, please subscribe, like, comment what you want me to do next, and share around the web. You can also find me around the social medias on johncodes.com. So here we are with just the most basic Go program we could possibly have. And what I want to do first is just get us an example in here. So let's declare numbers, and this is gonna be a slice of ints. And we're just gonna say one, two, three, four, just like that. And then I want to come down here and just call some arbitrary reduce with that list of numbers. And obviously this is not gonna be happy with us, so let's just declare a reduce in here just to get that in there. And I do want to go with our original example of using add. So uh, while we're at it, let's just call func add, and that will be our add function. Now, these function signatures are very important. So add is going to take two numbers. Uh, we're just going to say a, b, ints, and that should be fine. And then obviously, it should also return an integer. So let's come in here and just return a plus b. This should be very simple. All right, so this chunk gets us most of the way there with the actual add function. We also need to touch reduce up here a bit. You need to usually pass in the method that you're going to use on each element of the slice. So in here, let's just pass in add. Now, this is all complaining because we didn't touch up this function signature here. And really, this is the most important part in Go, how you declare this function signature. So really, this first thing is going to be, we're just going to call this nums. This is going to be a list of ints. And then this second thing is going to be the function signature of the thing that we're going to call on each element in the slice. So what that looks like, uh, let's just call this method because we're going to use some arbitrary method in the reduce. And this is going to be a func uh, of type int int because we're giving it two integers. And then it returns an int. So this whole part right here is really just the function signature for add right there. And then we're calling it method. Method is what we can call it within the reduce function block. This is pretty happy, but I'm noticing another thing. Really what we want in here is a result. So we're gonna get some result out of this. This is gonna complain because we don't actually declare in our function block any result. So we're gonna return an integer. All right, so now this is gonna complain because there's a missing return. Let's just return, uh, return zero up in here just to make that happy. And then I'm just gonna print line the result there. So everything is happy. It should all compile. Uh, just for kicks and giggles, let's get out of here and go run main.go. What we should see is it prints zero because we're not really doing anything with the reduce right now. We're in good shape. Let's keep implementing. A lot of the skeleton work has been done at this point, and we can see that reduce takes some arbitrary list of numbers, integers, and that we can give it a method with this signature type. And then it will return some aggregate, the integer, back to us. So now we need to do the work to actually iterate the list and call that method on each element in the slice. So usually what I like to do is have just some result. We're gonna call this result zero. And then in here, we can actually do our iteration. So we can for, 
the element. And if you don't know fours in Go, this is the actual index and we can ignore it with the underscore. For element in the range of nums, uh, we can do some work. So we can use the element that we're at and the aggregate, the result, as we go along. So we can call uh, not add because we want to actually call the method. Method, we're gonna do result and the element that we are at. And also we need to remember to update our aggregate. So result, oops, result equals the method that we call with the result, the aggregate and the element. And then let's call return result on that. You know, really what I want to do is I want to actually uh, go rename this method. I don't want to call it result anymore. I want to call it ag for aggregate. That works well. All right, cool beans. Thank you, Vimgo, for doing that for me. So now we can see we are calling the method on our aggregate for every element in the slice. Sweet. All right, let's give this a run. And we can see we get 10 there. I need to remind myself uh, what this was. Okay, yes, one plus two is three, plus three is six, plus four is 10. So in here, uh, expect to see 10. All right, very cool. So now what I wanna do is actually flesh this out a little more. We have a pretty generic method in here that we can call with other things. So let's, uh, let's do this whole chunk again. And instead of calling add again, let's call some arbitrary sub, some subtraction thing. Uh, and I gotta remember zero minus one is negative one, negative three, negative six, negative 10. Okay, so we should expect to see 10 printed to the screen and then negative 10. So expect to see negative 10. All right, we obviously don't have a sub method, so we need that. Let's come down here, func sub. It's gonna be very similar to the add. These are integers that it takes and it's gonna return an integer. We come down here, return a minus b. Great, so we have an add and a sub and we're calling reduce with both add and sub. We should expect to see 10 and then minus 10. Notice that we don't have to actually do any changes in the actual reduce because it takes the method that it can iterate the slice with. You get the point. Let's give it a run, main.go and we see 10 and minus 10. Again, I think a really, really good exercise in just how Go passes around functions, an advanced topic in using function inside of a function signature. And I've seen this asked in technical interviews before. So a good brush up on some of your more advanced Go. Thank you everybody for watching. Don't forget, sub, find me around the internet, and I will catch you next time. Peace.